Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts, Revelation against reality. Now, in Luke chapter 9, still in Luke chapter 9, there's a very powerful story over there. And the story is the story of uh, um, Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration, where the Bible says he was transfigured. His rim, the fashion of his countenance was changed. And then his raiment was also changed. And the Bible said something that was quite electric for me. I mean, Elijah and Moses came to visit him. And the Bible says they came to tell him about his disease, about his death, about what he was about to go through. And the fact that, look here, Jesus, you're going to transit. You're going to, you're going to leave this earth. You're going to go painfully. You're going to have a painful death. You're going to have a moment when your father is going to seem like your father has forsaken you. There's going to come a time where you're going to pray where you're not going to get results that you wanted unless you say, not my will, but your will be done. That was what they came to tell him. And the Bible says they brought to him pictures of what was going to happen to him. And they began to explain. They told him everything. That was the revelation. That was the glorious moment. That was the illumination. That was you know, the doorway to the future was open for him. But guess what? On the, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he prayed and begged for the cup to be taken away. And on the cross, he begged, my father, why have you forsaken me? So he had revelation. But the revelation didn't change the reality of the pain. So even though he was told, now when he, went, he started going through, it's a different story altogether. So sometimes you may know. But when the reality sets in, oh boy, it will shake your faith. It will shake your, your, your confidence. It, will, it is going to tear you inside out. It's going to turn you inside out. Sometimes you would know. I remember many, uh, a couple of years ago, I had revelations of my, of my, my paternal fa my father passing. And, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll get, I'll wake up with dreams and I'll pray for God to change it. And well, he wasn't changing the, the, the verdict. And so I settled and I said, okay, my dad was going to go. But I can tell you what, on the day that he left, the pain and the anguish, and, 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 and even until now, the pain, the loss, the fact that I've not just lost my dad, I've also lost my friend, my best friend. So the revelation didn't change the reality. And the pain the reality brings, it never changes. So sometimes, you know, God will reveal, and we say we have insider information. But when things begin to happen, oh boy, the story is different. But still, our confidence and our hope is always in him, not in anybody else. So we'll still trust. So there's a revelation, then there's a reality. So the revelation may just open your eyes and give you information. But the reality, the flesh will speak. The flesh will cringe. The flesh will cringe out in, cringe out in pain. The flesh will say, wow. By all means. So the revelation is different from the reality. I'm not saying that it will happen according to the... Yes, it will happen according to the revelation. But the pain that reality brings is not going to be taken away by the revelation. You still feel it. So, revelation versus reality. There you go. See you later.